Hello and welcome to BJA Ceramics. My name is Benita. I hope that you were able to watch the two videos about throwing the wine glass. In the first video, I'm not sure if you remember, I threw the um, top part of the wine glass and in the second video, I threw the bottom part of the wine glass. So in this video, I'm going to trim the top part. Now this is a different cup um, that I threw in the original, the first video. Um, I got a little busy and the first cup dried up on me so I had to let that go and I threw another one so this is a little bit bigger than the first one but it should fit on the original stem okay so I'm going to I'm going to turn my well on and I'm going to center my cup so before you start to trim you want to make sure that you are in the center um, same rule as when you when you're throwing Oops, turn that off. So I'm using my finger to center, and each time the cup hits my hand, that means I should push it up to get it closer to the center. Okay, as you can see, it's, it's away from my hand, my finger, and it, when it touches, I need to move it up a little bit. And you want to continue to do that until you are in the center because it's much easier to, to trim when things are okay I think I'm there all right so I'm going to use a couple strips of clay to just hold my cup down and this will eliminate the cup from moving around so much as I trim Trimming tool. Let's start my wheel up. And as I said in the uh, first video, I left a considerable amount of clay at the top, and that's for the purpose of being able to round the bottom part so that it fits securely on top of the stem. Okay. Now this is just a slightly above. Marginal. Leather hard. Still, there's still some moisture here. So I'm just rounding that off. Make sure I don't go too far down. I don't want to go to the point where I put a hole in my in my cup. So as I said, I'm just rounding it off. Okay, let me try another tool. Okay, I think that's good enough. Just one more. Okay, I think I need to stop trimming because it is getting a little thin at the top. So I'm gonna stop my wheel. I'm gonna remove my the top of my cup. feels good. Let me grab the bottom part of the wine glass. And let's see. How does that look? I think that looks good. I think that looks good. Let me pull my camera up a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. It said, you know, even though it's a larger cup, larger than I want it, it to be, it still look really, it goes very well with the, the bottom part. Let's see if I can, it's pretty secured. Let me get my sponge and kind of clean off the bottom part. Now at the bottom, there may be a lot of clay. You can just easily get your tool, one of your tools, and just trim that away. Okay. 
Okay. Just trim that away. Okay, just as easy as that. Smooth it out with your sponge. Because you don't want any rough edges, make sure your edges are smooth. Okay. That's good enough for me. And let me grab a, a wipey. I'm gonna clear off this, clear off this pad a little bit. You know, one thing about pottery, it's a very fun activity. It's a very fun hobby, but it is messy. It can get very messy. Okay, so I'm gonna place my, the bottom part there. I'm going to grab my scratch tool so that I could attach the bottom, the top to the bottom. So I'm scoring the top part of the stem here. Okay, I'll bring my camera over. Okay, so if you can see right here, I scored, I scored the top part of the wine glass here so that it will adhere to the top. So now we're going to apply slip. And slip is basically clay, clay and water. All right. So now I am going to do the same thing with the bottom of my my wine glass, I mean the, the bottom part of the cup. So I'm going to score. I'm going to score around the, the area. Okay, then I'm going to apply slip. a little more around there and then I'm going to attach this to the bottom of my cup my wine glass okay I'm just trying to maneuver my camera so that you can see that a little better just a second okay so I'm gonna make sure that's secured. I'm gonna turn it this way as well. I think this way would probably be better to make sure it's on there straight. And if you need more slip, grab some slip, put it around the bottom parts. Make sure it is secured. All right. So I think that's straight. Let me hold it up and look at it. All right, let me just smooth out the bottom here and one thing I love about clay clay is so forgiving if you put a, a dent or you make a mistake you can always smooth those arrows out and everything will be fine okay so let me remove some of this slip from here okay so I hope you can see this closer I'm just gonna remove some slip from the area and it looks like um, it is on securely. All right. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything is smooth. And I think that looks wonderful. I think that looks wonderful. And let me turn it up back up. Oh, okay, so here is the wine glass in all of its glory. I think I did a pretty good job at attaching. It looks pretty decent. So in the next video, we will talk about glazing. All right, thank you for joining me uh, for this video. I will see you on the next video. Thanks, bye-bye.